Hi, I'm Matt Bissonnette, and this is the Extraordinary Everyday Leadership Podcast. Today, we're talking about building trust through Zoom backgrounds. And you're wondering, well, how can you build trust with a Zoom background? Well, it's more how to bust trust with a Zoom background. So we're all in meetings right now. Everybody has a Zoom background. You know, it might be the simple blur version, or it might be the Golden Gate Bridge or, or whatnot. But we all have some kind of background, or maybe we have nothing at all. But interestingly enough, I've come across a trend where I've seen a number of people using pictures of their offices, like they're actually sitting at their desk as their Zoom background. And at first I thought, well, that's kind of creative. That's kind of interesting. But then I began to wonder, why would they do that? Why, why do they want people to think that they're actually in their office when clearly they're not? Because you can tell when you're on a Zoom call that the outline around the person doesn't match up appropriately. So I'm thinking, why, why do they want to have this this office background when they're not really there. And then I thought about the messaging. What message does it send employees, colleagues, external partners, when you're pretending to be in the office? If it's not sending a positive message of trust, then why have it? Why, why not just take it and use a blur or, or the Golden Gate Bridge instead? As a leader, our goal is to build trust through all settings. Everything we do can be looked at as a point of contact for building trust with the people that we lead and serve. So I challenge you to think about your Zoom background. Maybe you don't use one, good for you. But if you do, think about the message that it sends. We wanna make sure that people are growing closer to us and growing in their trust of us as leaders. So be creative with your background. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you tomorrow, but until we do, keep moving forward.